base fluid because it deals with the acid side of chemistry. The blood can't deal with acids without killing you. This is why you can't reabsorb cellular waste in through the venous system. This is the assumption of the allopathic and massage communities. Can't do it, guys. Not still live and not lose all your calcium. So your body has to be able to have an entirely separate, distinct system. You don't dump your waste at your home back into your water pipes. So you have a distinct, separate system, and it's important. Remember, I was telling the story of the lady that came to me with the big legs, and this, this, uh, her physician stripped her veins three times, and she still had big legs. And he said, well, I'll strip them a couple of more times. Why? You're going to damage the tissue. Probably already damaged the tissue real bad. And it didn't do any good because the body doesn't dump waste into the venous system. Swelling is of the lymph system. Edema is of the lymph system. The blood has, is a sacred blood. That, that's vital that the blood keep a certain constituency. It's important because that's the life force. But here comes, you got the sewer system. And remember, around the cells, these fluids are called interstitial fluids. They're simply the fluids that flow around the cells. And these fluids are 75% lymph and only 25% blood. When you pop a pimple, that's what you see. 75% lymph and 25% blood. And you see a tumor, you'll see the same thing. Cysts, you'll see the same thing. So, important to understand, this is interstitial fluids that are constipated because the kidneys aren't filtering and moving that system in a timely manner. You're not getting that movement properly. The other thing to this is a little science that when things are acidic, when fluids become acidic, the, the environment becomes anionic. An anionic environment, and I try to explain this in my book, an anionic environment is an environment of dehydration, coagulation, where things solidify, fluids dry up, your eye fluids get dry, your, your synovial fluids in your knees dry up, your fluids literally dry up, you dry up like a prune. You see these people in the nursing homes all the time. A sad thing because you can get most of these people out of nursing homes. Easy to rebuild tissue and, and the mind and things like this. I had a mental health nurse ask me a question here. and I'm going to deal with the mental health side of this in another video. Easy to help resurrect that. Now there's some people that are way out there and sometimes it's impossible to help them. I've had some cases and I'll, I'll get to that sometime. But Important to understand why detoxification is the golden key. Because you have to understand what causes everything. And we're going to the only two sides of chemistry and there's only two fluids in the body. I don't think that could be more simple. You know, when people understand how simple this is, I hope they don't get too mad. Because this is so simple that a child could learn this easy. I have a lot of children. And we're always talking to the children and they get it. So it's important to understand that it's the lymph system that detoxification is all about. The blood comes clean with it. That's just a given. Even the blood uses the spleen to clean itself into the lymph system. So the, the lymph system is very important to, to understand since it dominates as the main fluid of the body and it's a thicker mucousy fluid. Well, as this fluid becomes more anionic and more stagnant, it becomes like a stagnant uh, lake. Have you ever seen a lake that got stagnant and got thick palm scum on the top? Well, we could just clean that palm scum off and sell it back to you as blue-green algae. But, uh, you know, some people like to eat palm scum. That's okay, you know, but not my cup of tea, to tell you the truth. I, you know, we, we get into all these bizarre things, and I, these, these single-celled organisms and stuff like that, and I always wonder why. Like urine therapy, you know, people get urine therapy and drink urine. It's like, you know, hope your kidneys are not filtering your cellular waste when you're drinking it because those are acids and there's nothing healthy about acids and particularly the byproducts of already metabolized nutrition. I, I don't know, you know, there's some bizarre thinkers out there and uh, I guess this is a planet that anything goes. <laughs> so forgive me, but uh, maybe I'm just an old farm boy and just... Uh, you know, uh, constipated in my thinking, but uh, some of this stuff is just bizarre. I've never used anything like these. My whole thing is the focus and the health of cells. And the only way you're going to get that is through the two fluids. 
And through those two fluids and what you're eating and consuming, you can rebuild cells and remember them genetically. It's how simple it is. Bit of a process though, detoxification can take you years. This idea of having two week detoxification, you ever see that run from that those people or even six months, it takes you quite a while to move a lymph system. And if you've been a milk drinker in your life and a lot of cheese and dairy or yogurts, you could have a very uh, uh, heavy job ahead of you because this super uh, uh, clogs the lymph system in the body. I can show you pictures of, of what a dairy farmer looks like in their lymph systems inside their body and a non-dairy drinker and it's, it's literally eye dropping. It's just amazing the amount of work involved with someone that has a lot of dairy products in their lives and moving their lymph system it could take you years. So very serious issues. And this anionic environment, of course, is a coagulating environment. And on this thicker mucousy fluid, it dries it out. It becomes hard. I've had quads and uh, COPDers. That's chronic uh, obstructive pulmonary type problems where you have a lot of congestion deep and locked interstitially in the, in the walls of the lungs. But they sound clear in the lung. But in the wall, you're locked in there. Uh, when this stuff breaks loose and comes out, particularly in the lower lobes, this can become thick. I've had a quad. She almost died. Matter of fact, she did code a couple of times in a hospital. I told them to don't use antibiotics. And, well, they didn't care. So they gave her an antibiotic and she coded on them. But uh, it was trying to get this mucus out. It was thick and solid like a belt and a rope. I've had lung cancer where they're just thick and hard to come out. This is what happens to this fluid in an anionic medium, an acid medium. So to rectify that, detoxification is a cationic experience. A cationic experience is one where you're rehydrating the fluids. If you think you can drink a little water and rehydrate yourself, you've got another thing coming. You've got miles of these interstitial fluids that have to be moving to actually get interstitial rehydration. So it makes it very difficult and it also blocks the ability of cells to take in nutrition. So this is a very serious issue and detoxification is the only, the only golden key to opening up that door. And once you understand the connection of the kidneys and the adrenal glands, most practitioners have no clue they're not taught this. I've had 40 years in rebuilding tissue and I'm a Y guy and I can tell you that through all this and I did talk to you about the two medical doctors that discovered the autonomic nervous system in the pancreas that actually shuts down the production of, of insulin, the beta cells. And that autonomic nervous system invades all tissues including kidney tissue. So you have to understand that a lot of these problems you face is neurological problems, but you go right back to the adrenal glands on top of the kidneys. It's an incredible view and once I can put this all together for you, uh, and I'll keep trying to do that, uh, running these different videos is somewhat difficult in the sense that, believe it or not, I could run one video and no matter what you have, you could cure yourself with it. You'll notice that as I run these videos, I'm saying the same thing. But don't tell it too many people because it's awful simple. But I guarantee you that there, you can cure anything you have. I don't care what uh, allergy type problems, uh, urticardia, there's all kinds of that. All that stuff's easy. What you have out there is a lack of practitioners that can take you deep into the world of detoxification. You have a lack of practitioners that do not understand the role.